Last week on Sailing Adrift, we called in an expert to help us get our mast ready for the big splash. Does that give us a good game plan? Good game plan. Yeah, you pretty much know what's going on on the boat, huh? Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ran our halyard lines, viper, and warp speed. Wow, we're badass. Really, we are. Then we tried to fire up the engine. All right, engaging the battery. Turning on the engine, but it won't start it yet. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready. Nothing happened. I am not surprised. With that being a total bust, we called upon another expert for help. He showed up the same day, and we kept troubleshooting all night long. So I think we're good now. That's so I say. Yeah, we'll so find I out say. tomorrow. All right. It's gonna be an adventure, Cal. Always is. It was the year 2019 when we parked the boat in our driveway. Since delivery, we've basically gutted the inside, poked a few holes on the outside, sanded everything down, including our fingertips. We mastered the art of prep, best priming practices, and painting, became really familiar with the parameters of epoxy and fairing compound, and we've collected about a million tools. We had our fun times with fiberglass and Chris basically became a carpenter. This project was such an undertaking, not just the hours of labor, but it's also been a true test of teamwork in being able to work together and not kill each other. And now we're here, closing in on the final details. It hasn't been easy and it isn't over yet, but we're a lot closer to where we wanna be. All of our experiences and hard work have been cultivating to this day. We're transitioning from book one of being on the hard with the refit to splashing in the water with our live aboard lives in book two. This is hopefully our last day on land. We got started bright and early. First things first, we need to dismantle our shelter. I am extremely thankful we had some extra manpower this morning. Our friend Henry came over to help do dangerous things carefully. Whoa! Timber! Timber! Watch out for my boat, Henry! I think you gotta, yeah, take those off. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like that's what's holding this up right now? Good job, little buddy. I just gotta lift this up and let it go. Let her rip. Whee! <laughs> we got a call yesterday that our window to use the lift was being pushed up a few hours. So we scrambled a bit here, trying to prepare ourselves. Okay. Yeah, Owen, get up on the... Roof deck, Kelly, take it from Owen when he gets to the edge. Okay. Then... We don't want it scratching across the deck. Or the... Watch out, Owen! Stop! I was not aware that was open. You're okay, bud. Yeah, I know. Just stay right there. This is the aftermath of six foot two, 200 pound Owen crashing through the open void of our pilot house. The open hatch has been hidden by a tarp this entire time. Poor Owen clearly had no idea there was a hole in the roof. So then we put him back to work loading all the heavy items that we didn't want to have to deal with later by hauling them separately into the marina. Like our gimbaled stove. All right. <sighs> That'll be good there. When it's up against that, it'll open, right? What? When it's up against the side, it'll open. Oh, I hope so, but this should, you know. Me running. Oh well, problem for another day. Yeah. Oh well. It fits. It fits. If it fits, it ships. <sighs> the oven door doesn't open. Day. Yep. Then the truck arrived. Things are starting to get very real. We used a company called Drift. Our driver Casey was phenomenal to work with.
Casey had us hop off the boat while he removed the stands and secured it to the truck. Once things were stable, he led us back on to finish packing. Then he continued to strap us down pretty much all by himself. We secured everything on board for safe delivery. All items on deck needed to remain under 14 feet for clearance. We ended up just being shy of that threshold. Then it was time to load the mast. It was a lot heavier now with all the hardware and lines attached. Good thing we had a crew to help. The mast was put in place. Now it's time to load the little guys, Mizzen and Boom. Really happening. No changing your mind now. We just okay. It would be a bad, bad nice It would be a really <laughs> serious, <laughs> not a good financial move. Okay. Here we go. quick check. Just making sure we can clear those saggy power lines. Yikes. And then we were off. Boat was right on schedule. Took us just a few minutes to pack up, but we left shortly after to go meet the boat at the marina. Given the drivers should have been driving a little slower than us, we anticipated seeing the boat somewhere along our route. However... Still haven't seen the boat. No. It'd be weird if we beat it somehow. Right there she is. There, oh, that's not our boat. Not. So we just got to the marina. And our boat's not here, but it left like 20 minutes before we did. Somebody may have stolen our boat. Just waiting. Fortunately, our friend Henry was still on the road and able to provide some good news. What a relief this was to actually see. We had so many theories on what was going on. Turns out, the driver just took a safer, less congested, but longer route to get here. Once we arrived inside the yard, we discovered there was a small discrepancy in how this was all going to go down. Our last minute time change notification didn't seem to make it to all the guys in the marina. At any rate, we lucked out in having a super great team of professionals to work with. They took care of us getting off the truck and onto the lift. Meanwhile, during this epic ordeal, Chris and Owen are scrambling to try to finish assembling the mast. This is all just happening way too fast. This is it, we finally hit water. This boat hasn't seen water in 15 years. This is such a huge moment for us, but we're still on pins and needles. So far, so good. Now time to hop aboard and check all our seacocks and through holes. Yeah. If you wanna take a yeah, look. that noise? I do. That dripping sound was definitely coming from the engine room, but we obviously scrambled to check all the other obvious places for any infiltration. So far, I've only found one leak. Where's that? Right there. Oh. But the, the sound I'm hearing is a leak. Yeah. Pretty good. The prop seal is leaking pretty good. I'm trying to look at it. It might just be missing its uh, hose barb on the top that you're supposed to run up. Yeah. It's not there. Yeah, it's obviously not mission critical. It's not that much water coming in. 
right, I'm gonna go tighten those things, but other than that, unless you see anything else, it looks pretty good. We'll call it a success. Diagnose two small drips. That ain't bad. Man, this is so surreal. We're actually moving in the water. Too scared to actually fire up the engine, the nice folks at the marina carefully hand-guided us alongside the dock. We'll eventually have to get close to the slip and then we'll paddle in with our hands. Are we putting bow this way? Yeah. Against this rail? Bow. Okay, perfect. So we're river. freaking fenders. Well, you don't have any fenders? Well, we're idiots. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we have those. They're just sitting at our house because all the chaos. That's right, in all the chaos this morning, we totally forgot our dock lines and fenders. Freaking noobs. Do ya? There you go. Yeah, we got a couple of things. Everybody's pretty helpful like this. I'm gonna keep them. I got other ones. Awesome, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Our floors have to stand together. Yes, indeed. <laughs> this is the first time it's been in the water in 15 years. So, woo hoo! Really? Yeah, yeah. It needs a little time to soak up. Yes. <laughs> we haven't stepped the mast. What's the plan? What about stepping the mast? Are we doing that right now? Well, I mean, it's up there. We can do it later. I didn't know if you were ready to do it. Yeah. Um, I was. He was having me put it all together, and it's just about done. I just need to heat shrink something. Well, what, I, what we can do then. Because this wasn't even on our schedule for launching it right yeah. now, it's about move. What you do is talk to Rob, or Andrew, schedule the mast set for Tuesday morning. Okay. Just leave your boat here, we'll set your mast Tuesday morning, then you're good to go. So we're gonna hang tight on the mast for now. But what an experience this is so far. Once we got locked in, it was time to sit back and soak in the moment. This is a little surreal. The boat is in the water. A lot of uh, scary things when you do this because I've never really been anywhere close to a sailor. I've been figuring all this stuff out myself, working on the engine, wiring the engine, trying to solve those problems. Um, you know, building this all out, worrying about cracking and poor craftsmanship and all that stuff. But it's nice just to take a mow and enjoy the fact that we've hit a milestone. The boat's back in the water and that's kind of a big deal. And then after my mow, It'll be time to go figure out why the bilge pump won't shut off and the water is coming out of the top of the uh, seal on the uh, shaft, propeller thingy, shaft, shaft, that's what it is. I'm rambling. But anyway, we're here. We're in McCuddy's Marina. It's something that I wanted to do four or five years ago when I started. This is the marina I wanted to be in uh, while we get ready to, to head south. It's not the fanciest marina in Portland. But it's got a lot of charm. And right there, that's our slip. Stay tuned to see if we can actually make it into our slip. Hey you, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you want to keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. And special thanks to our patron crew. We really appreciate your support. I hate these. Kelly, don't use hardly any of this footage. My mother was a... Hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. There you go. Thank you. What You're welcome. You? Welcome to Sailing Adrift. Why can't hamsters drive? Schmegma? Because you can't get them out of gear. hey -o. Get your hands out of your pockets. The paint's coming hey. off. Shut up, Jack. <laughs>